trend-setting Danielle shopping locally in Rygate, and she's doing everything in her power to buy garden furniture without actually setting foot in a garden centre. I'm looking for some ornate garden furniture. I was hoping to find something carved, right? Vintage day beds. Um, oh, yeah, this kind of thing actually is really is so on trend at the moment, isn't it? It's attracting much higher yeah. price tags. Metal framed day beds are popular in fashionable gardens, and being vintage, this one's a real find at five hundred pounds. But Danielle can afford more. There's more of this, the sort of outdoor garden look, you know. With yeah, I mean this this is actually really interesting. This whole outdoor room um, yeah, idea, the isn't it? Yeah, Scandinavians do that really, really well. Yeah, they almost like throw up a they whole do. dining room outside, oh, don't I love they? That. I think it's amazing, yeah. and, it, and it also, it just looks so quirky. So having a pergola and the shutters, so it actually feels like a contained space. It's really cool. Even with the big budget, a whole room's a bit ambitious. Looks like Danielle's just going to have to bite the bullet. <gasps> I think I might be going a little bit niche here for this area. I absolutely love this shop, and the style in here is totally me. The vintage look, the shabby chic of it all, I think it's fantastic. But I'm going to have to go to a garden centre. What they actually need in their garden is furniture. So Danielle waves goodbye to her chic boutiques. The urban fashionista is finally about to hit a garden centre.